Hello, if you're an English speaker, welcome to this special episode of Insights Inside, a podcast with myself, Shalia Stevens, um, with Sandra Heim, Sylvia Kittil, and Leah Vandley. Today's episode is coming from my backyard to wherever you are, and we're going to be talking um, about the simplicity of the understanding of the three principles. So stick around just a moment. I'm going to be letting the German speakers know what's going on because they're used to listening to the episodes in the German language. Wenn du deutschsprachiger Mensch bist, auch du bist herzlich willkommen hier bei einer neuen Episode von Insights Inside. Ich freue mich so sehr, dass du da bist. Um, mein Name ist Shalia Stevens und wenn du eine Weile dabei bist, weißt du, dass ich diesen Podcast zusammen mache mit Sandra Heim, Sylvia Ketil und Leah Wernley. Und heute habe ich die Ehre und das Privileg, um, alleine über die drei Prinzipien zu sprechen. Das Thema wird sein die Einfachkeit des Verständnisses der drei Prinzipien. Und die Episode habe ich aufgenommen bei mir im Garten. Wenn du gut Englisch kannst, würdest du dich sowieso freuen und vielleicht hast du ein wenig ein mulmiges Gefühl, wenn du gar nicht so gut Deutsch, äh, Englisch, sorry, Englisch verstehst, mach dir gar keine Sorgen. Du wirst ganz sicher auch für dich was mitnehmen können. Entspann dich, lehn dich zurück, lass einfach die Worte, aber noch viel mehr das Gefühl über dich um, ergehen, lass es dich berieseln wie eine schöne Wasserfalldusche und sei überrascht und neugierig, um, was das mit dir macht, auch wenn die Worte gar nicht so um, in dem Vordergrund stehen wie sonst, wie wenn man auf Deutsch hört. So, wir sehen uns am Ende der Episode wieder mit einer kleinen deutschen Nachricht dann. und ich bin gespannt. Bis dann. Hello <laughs> and welcome to my garden. I'm just sitting here with my dogs and the neighbors are having their house renovated. So it might be a little loud, but I just wanted to talk a little bit today um, about the, the simplicity of this understanding called the three principles. The thing is, It's good to know how we work. <laughs> yesterday, um, yesterday I was having the, the most strangest of days. Yesterday I had a period of feeling kind of really depressed. I had a moment of feeling fearful about the future, not knowing how things are going to turn out or how I'm going to create what I want to create and if it's going to happen or not going to happen. I had moments of connection with a friend. I had laughing with her. Yesterday I cried. Um, yesterday I felt optimistic about life and I felt strong and confident. Yesterday I felt the opposite of that, also insecure, unsure of myself. And you might ask yourself like, what the heck, what kind of a day was that <laughs> that, you were, that you were having? But For me, it was just um, one possibility of, of, of a given day in any human being's life. And 
And in the past, if I'd have had such a day like that, I would have been uh, worried or confused. Um, I might have thought something's really wrong with me, that I'm having so many different contradictory emotions, one after the other all in one day. What's wrong with me? Or what's wrong with the world? What's wrong with the others? But yesterday I, I, I wasn't worried because I've, I've, I've come to realize the simplicity of, of life as a human being. And that simplicity looks like this. We are always feeling thought in the moment. Now, I'm not a neurologist and I'm not a psychologist. I'm just a, a coach. I do have a master's degree in coaching. So it's not just some crazy off the, off the Kmart shelf coaching degree. <laughs> but I do know that there's just an energy passing through our field of awareness. Some people say um, the brain creates it. Some people talk about what a brain does. Some people talk about it's from your gut. It's, um, it's from the universe. Like, I don't know. I don't know where it comes from. I just know that every human being thinks. And every time that thinking passes through our field of consciousness, we feel it. I was listening to a podcast recently um, with Judy Sedgman and Christine Heath. They're, they're so wonderful. I just love to listen to their, to their podcast. And they were talking about the subject as well, the simplicity of the three principles. And they said something like, all that's ever happening is we're making up stories. <laughs> and believing them to be true. And that felt truth is our personal experience. Our mind is always making up new things for us to believe. It says, it wasn't me. It's really real. It's really reality. Yesterday when I was feeling depressed, you know, my, my mind was telling me stories about what wasn't going well in my life. Things in my business that could be different or better. The health of people that I care about that could be better. The state of a relationship that could be better. All the things that I need to feel okay that, that aren't there. And in those moments where those, that thought was looking so incredibly 
real. It was saying, no, it's real. It's definitely true. I felt all of the weight of that so-called truth, which was no truth at all. And in those moments later in the day after I'd had my workout and I had sweated it off and my mood had lifted, thoughts that I that were passing through me is like this is going to be amazing everything that I want to create is possible everything's going to be greatly successful <laughs> all the people who are not healthy right now well they're going to get better the relationship that looked faulty all of a sudden looked rich and full of potential and I was all of a sudden just grateful for it <laughs> but then all of a sudden that looked like the truth but what is the truth The truth is, the simplicity of the understanding is, human beings are feeling thought from moment to moment. That is the truth. The truth is, when that thought that's passing through us looks real and we are believing it. That is what looks like our, our reality. And thought says, no, that wasn't me. <laughs> Yeah. That's just the one part of, of the understanding. That's the principle of thought. The next piece is underneath all of those stories that are passing through us. There is something more alive. It's, it's the essence of life. And we feel it when our personal thinking isn't quite as interesting as it was a minute ago. We sometimes have the gift and the grace that that personal thinking just becomes less interesting and it can still be there like elevator music in the background but it's just just that it's just a little bit of noise behind us And when that noise is not quite so interesting to us, we feel life itself. Sydney Banks would have said mind 
I, I just like to call it life. It's a deep, it's a deep calm place. It's a, an unending, unending sense of peace. It's a place where true creativity springs up. It's a feeling of expansion without needing to expand, not having to. It's not needing anything to be different. But the potential for everything to happen. Life. That is the most simplest place to be in life. When our, when our personal thinking isn't so interesting at the moment, personal thinking can, can look really complicated, complex. Difficult. And life, life, life is just simple. I always feel simple. And then that's, then there's the third part. <laughs> there's only three principles talked about thought in the moment, life underneath our personal thinking, our mind, and then the third principle, consciousness, just our awareness, our ability to feel the difference between thought in the moment and life underneath. And being more or less able to do that on in any given moment. Sometimes our awareness is just so involved in the story of our personal thinking, all in that, creating a rich human experience. Sometimes it's more interested in, in life itself, <laughs> in, the, in the spiritual realm of things. It's like, um, Lee and I were talking the other day about blood and bones and ghost. The principle of thought is, it, it, it's a spiritual principle as well, but it often manifests in our, you know, blood and bones level, like in our humanness. Life being the ghost, you know our spiritual nature through and through our connectedness with all things. Sometimes our consciousness seems to be more interested in the blood and bones and sometimes it's more interested in the ghost. That's what it looks like to me anyway. Our consciousness is always 
expanding and retracting and expanding and retracting. Yeah. So that's it. That's the simplicity of this understanding. That's all it is. It's the only place we're ever pointing to as to that. We can try to make it more complicated. But that's all there is. Yeah. So I'll catch you for another conversation later. <laughs> Bye. I really hope that you enjoyed this episode of Insights Inside in English today. Keep a lookout for further episodes, special episodes that we create in the English language in future. We'll let you know um, when that happens via email. So be sure to get on our mailing list for that. Für die Deutschsprachigen unter euch, ich hoffe, dass die Episode dir heute gefallen hat, dass du in das Gefühl gekommen bist, dass ich auch gefühlt habe, während ich gesprochen habe. Ich hoffe, dass du für dich hast was mitnehmen können, ganz egal, ob du Englisch hervorragend verstehst oder gar nicht so gut. Ich freue mich, wir freuen uns, dass du dabei bist und wir hören uns bei einer nächsten neuen Episode von Insights Inside. Bis dahin. Tschüss.